All right, so we're going to take a look at adding um, a vocoder track to a project. So I've just recorded a little simple phrase here. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, that lamb was sure to go. So to do a vocoder, I'm going to use Razor. Uh, not, yeah, Razor from um, Reactor. And there are different ways of going about this. The quickest and easiest way is taking, if you already have your vocal track done, as this one is, you can just go ahead and add the uh, synth as an FX in, on the track itself, which is, again, this is the quick and easiest way to get to do that. So we're going to add a soft synth, Reactor 5. And we're going to pull up Player and then Razor. And we're going to select uh, the vocoder, one of the vocoders here. Let's do vocoder. Okay. Now, can't hear anything. We can see that the the uh, input is going into reactor, but nothing's coming out. And the reason there's nothing coming out is because it needs a MIDI signal to um, allow to have uh, a trigger to start sending the tones of the the signal through the tones for the vocoder so we need to add a MIDI track okay and so we're gonna do that um, okay so we can see it's getting information now because I had already set up this instrument here it selected MIDI uh, the reactor as the, its output so now if I hold down some tones and I play Okay, and let's see if I do this. Uh, let's see. So if I want to kind of play around and find a better uh, sample or a better sound to use, I can do the highlight and then hit L, and that will create the loop points for me here. And then I can kind of just let it loop through, and I can play with the. Um, find a better vocoder okay so uh, again we can just kind of you can go through and audition some different sounds and, and get it, get that where you want to go. Now in this case I'm playing live so uh, what I would want to do is actually record uh, the MIDI track here from my keyboard and then that way uh, to get whatever sound that you're looking for, the chords or just a single tone or whatever. So I'm going to do that right now. I set that on that track to record the MIDI. I'm going to record the MIDI Okay, and so now we have these chords, and so the razor is receiving now recorded data from my vocal track and recorded data from this MIDI track. Okay, so that is the quickest and easiest way to set up a vocoder in uh, Sonar a Platinum. There are different methods as well, but this is by far the easiest, quickest way to get the results that you're looking for for a vocoder. Thank you very much.